So my name's Hannah Reed. I work at IID, and this is a report back from the first opening session of the ninth International Community-Based Adaptation Conference, which we're holding in Nairobi on the 27th to the 30th of April, 2015. We had a number of spectacular guests at our opening session who provided us with a brief overview of their work and their engagement with the conference and some of the key issues that they wanted to speak about at CBA 9, this conference. We kicked off with Ibrahim Tio, who's the Deputy Director of UNEP, and he really emphasised the importance of ecosystem-based adaptation approaches and how we need to link these to community-based adaptation. And it was interesting, when I reflect back on the session, this seemed to be a key theme that came out from a lot of the speeches that were made. We had Jean Pascal Van Ypersel, who's currently the Vice President of the IPCC, and he's looking to become the, uh, the President of the IPCC. So he brought a real scientific angle to discussions and reminded us of the kind of science of climate change that we'll be facing in the next few years and the, and the decades ahead. Simon Carter, Regional Director of IDRC, which is a core sponsor of CBA, reminded us of the importance of the private sector in supporting adaptation. It's where the big bucks are, he said. We had Ambassador Vincent O'Neill, um, Ambassador of Ireland to Kenya, and he asked us how to assess our own engagement in CBA 9, and asked us a number of questions which he wanted us to come back to at the end of CBA 9. He wanted us all to share something at CBA 9. He wanted us to think about organisational learning and what we would take back to our own institutions from CBA 9. And he wanted us to ask ourselves whether we have the skills to do the work that we need to do moving forward. So these were interesting questions for a conference on monitor and evaluation in terms of monitoring our own inputs to the conference and what we take away from it. We had Tom Owio from the African Development Bank, who also talked about the importance of the private sector and the struggle to get private sector funding towards adaptation. And we had Atik Rahman from the Bangladesh Centre for Advanced Studies, who together with ACTS and IID has been a core partner in organising this CBA conference. He spoke a little bit about the history of the CBA conferences, in particular the previous conferences that are focused on financing, issues like mainstreaming and upscaling so we can move beyond the project level. And then the, the, ori the original CBA conferences, the first four of which were held in Bangladesh and how the series began. Prior to the chief guest, we had two Maasai cultural leaders. It was a privilege to have them up on the stage with the VIPs. Salatan Olein Tutu and Stephen Ole Kisotu came in their traditional dress and talked about some of the climate change challenges that they're experiencing on the ground as Maasai members. And I personally felt very proud to have them up on the stage, bringing their wisdom and their knowledge and grounding us all in why we're here today at the conference and over the coming days. Finally, we had Judy Wakulu currently Minister of Environment and Natural Resources in Kenya. She's a long-standing partner of IIED and BGAS and an old friend of the organisers. She's a committed individual and has been working on climate change for many years, so we were truly honoured to have us with us at the conference to open it for us. She particularly emphasised the need to link to ongoing international processes like the Sustainable Development Goals and how those processes include assessing indicators, working out how we measure progress and to make sure that the work we do here doesn't happen in parallel to those other important processes. And it was great to have this global perspective reminding us of the context in which our work on adaptation and community-based adaptation sits.